Hey Food Foresters, Amy here. And today, I have some leftover apples. So I've gotten out my apples uh, peeler and we're gonna make some apple chips. Stay tuned. All right guys, so what you first wanna do is rinse off your apples, take the stems off of them, any stickers, depending on how you got these. Um, we had um, Braden's mother, Wanda, gave us a bag of apples and we just had too many apples. So we went ahead and I'm gonna make apple chips out of these. She also gave us this uh, apple peeler. Um, she doesn't quite remember where she got it from. She's had it for a while in her closet. So it is uh, electric, saves me a little bit of hassle. It's supposed to just take the skin off and then I'll be able to cut them up. Um, now, just to let you know, there are several um, ways that you can do this. When you peel them, you can slice them. Um, I am going to go ahead and use a mandolin to slice the apples because my cutting slices are <laughs> pretty bad. That's why I clean and I don't cook. <laughs> I'm really not that great in the kitchen. Um, but this thing is pretty cool. This goes up and down. You stick your apple here. There's a bunch of little uh, plastic pointy sharp things. You have your holder here, which moves up and down. And then you move this up and down, depending on the apple. And then you press the red button, it comes on and, I don't know if it'll do it. But then it moves down. And it takes the apple slice, or the apple peel right off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the first apple set up, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it actually works. All right, take your apple, just gently push it, then you're gonna take this part and just line it up in the center. Push that down. Gonna look like that and then this thing comes up now obviously this is a bigger apple I might pull this up a little bit just to get this where I want it there we go and then this red thing has a slicer in it so when I turn it on going to start peeling. And the good thing is, is when this arm reaches this button, it automatically turns itself off. And here's what you're left with. One solid piece. This is gonna be great because I'll be able to feed this to my chickens. Now, you may be wondering, uh, let me turn that off. <laughs> now, I am not going to be um, dipping in any of these in any type of solution. Um, I know if you do like lemon water, um, it'll stop the browning. But as you can tell, just to show you. So what I'll do is I'll just slice out the bottom, slice out the top, and then I will use the mandalay. All right, I'm gonna do this at a different angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. All 
did. This is the coolest thing ever. It makes it so easy. Now what you want to do is obviously every time you do an apple you want to clean this part out. Um, it does come with this little poker so you're not getting yourself in the um, with the uh, razor sharpness of the uh, cutter. So I'm just going to poke that out. There we go. And then it'll be ready for the next one. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and the ones I cut up, I am going to uh, show you how I use the mandolin. But there's the string for that one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cut off move that out of the way. Cut off the top and bottom, and that'll be a nice little treat for my birds. I'm not going to worry about decoring this um, because I am going to pick out the seeds. But there we go. I have my mandolin set on thin this is a, um, a cheaper one this is when I use Donald we do have better ones but this is pretty decent oh, I almost forgot the cover thing hold on and it does come with a handy dandy holder thing if I can get it on there we go there we go so back and forth. Obviously, I'm not using the uh, anything underneath of it, but there's my nice thin slices. They're going to be even. Mm, apples are good. And I'm going to go ahead and place them on my um, dehydrator trays. Okay. Now when you place them on your dehydrator tray, you want to make sure you leave a little bit of room so that way the airflow can go all the way around it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish all the apples off and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to put everything into the trays or into the dehydrator. Okay guys, got all the trays in there. And my Excalibur. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. Now apples will take about 12 hours. And you want to set it for 130. So mine goes from 125 to 135, so I'm going to just put it in the middle there. And uh, I'll come back and show you guys. Um, you're looking for like a crispy, leathery. So we will see. Probably I'll check them later tonight. But um, just make sure that everything's going okay. But that is how you do it. All right, so we'll see you in a few hours. Many hours later. All right. Half a day later. Oh, yeah. You want them to be either leathery or crisp. Or crisp, I should say. So they're a little leathery. And as you can tell, they are really dry. Mm. Oh, these are good. All right. Yep. I think they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Going to get them into, uh, into a small baggie because I guarantee you these might make it to two days. 
if I don't eat them all. <laughs> Alright guys, one quart size Ziploc bag of apple crisps or apple chips I should say. And um, this is like perfect healthy snack between the banana chips and now these. Um, we still have a few of the banana ones left. I've been hiding them from everybody. <laughs> but these are healthy, easy to do, and uh, my family loves them. I got all the air squeezed out <clears throat> as much as I can. So that's all it takes. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.